effort to prevent babies from being exposed to heroin kicked off today. New at 6, Rochelle Edma explains what area leaders are trying to do about the problem. It's everywhere. It's at your neighbor's house. It's you, you can walk down the street and get it. You don't need to know a dope boy or anything like that. You can just walk down the street and get it. It's bad. Jamie Holland is one recovering mom who got help seven months into her pregnancy. Her two-week-old son, Blake, was saved because of her treatment, but she says not every mom has those options. Last year, Miami Valley had at least 75 heroin-addicted babies. This year, they expect as many as 100. Congressman Mike Turner says intervention is needed. This is shocking. I think most people in our community have heard that heroin has become a problem in our community. I don't think they're hearing the effects on uh, the, the smallest ones in our community. Uh, the fact that we're having uh, this epidemic in our hospitals of newborns addicted to heroin is something that we need to respond to as a community. The representative says resources have to be expanded for more medical treatment. Officials say most users don't know how dangerous the drug can be. Jamie agrees. She said what started out as an experiment quickly became an unshakable addiction. When she was pregnant, she wanted to change, but didn't know where to go. A lot of people run away from children's services and stuff like that, but they're actually there just to help. They wasn't there to take anything from me or to punish me. They was just there to help. Now, even with the help she's gotten, she's still nervous about the future. I think as long as I stay strong and keep myself busy and don't drift out back that way, I'll be all right. Beershaw Edmay, 2 News, working for you.